Redemption. That's what this video is about. Some redemption. Because last time, when I faced the last food critic, I absolutely embarrassed myself with not flipping the salmon steak. Because I forgot that's a thing. Heaven forbid we can look at the recipe the whole time. I'm devastated. What a jip. This whole game is a jip. I don't even want to play the game anymore. I also forgot that I have to flip the salmon steak. Gotta be straight up. I forgot that was the thing I had to do. So that one's on me. But the too much salt and not enough salt in the potatoes is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm not gonna get off on that tangent again. Today we are back for some good old fashioned redemption. We have another food critic showing up today at my restaurant and you better bet your butt I'm gonna get a fame star. So we are in the preparation phase and you know the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up a lemon because that's what I always do. I, how could I not start with wedging a lemon, you know? Oh, I forgot how stupid these controls are. It's been some time since the last time I played, like a, a good few weeks. And I'll definitely remember all the recipes, don't you worry. I'm just gonna put these on the counter for when I inevitably have a baked trout ordered, um, because I always do. In fact, I always have multiples. I'm gonna skip the prep phase, because I don't know what else to do, and I'm ready to get some redemption. So we're gonna get right into it. If the game wants to give me my first order. Oh, pork chops with baked potatoes, yay. I'm immediately gonna look at the recipe, because how am I supposed to remember that, huh? Good old potato chunks because the game doesn't tell me uh, anything else. That's the most information you're gonna get out of that recipe. Just potato chunks, good luck. All right, look at that, beautiful. Eight beautiful potato chunks that I am gonna season with salt because I read the recipe and I for sure remember, don't even worry. And I'm just gonna kinda do vaguely five gram sprinkles over the top of these because I don't know. I don't know. Last time, one of the food critics' main complaints was that my potatoes had too much salt and not enough salt. So, I don't know. Can't win on that one. That that's a potato chunk, right? I would I would classify that as a potato chunk. That looks chunky to me. How do I how do I crouch again? I forgot. I forgot how to play this game. Doesn't matter. But still, let me buy a pork chop. Four grams of salt. Four grams of black pepper, six grams of thyme. So you know what? I'm gonna call it five grams of salt, five grams of pepper, five grams of thyme, because who can be bothered with all that? Like one gram is gonna make all that difference. Get out of here, you know? 30 milliliters of sunflower oil, huh? That seems like a lot. Whatever, I'm gonna try my best. It goes fast, oh, it goes fast. Okay, nice and easy, nice and easy. A Little bit more and we're there. Oh, 30 milliliters exactly, oh ho Setting the tone for some redemption, babe. It's happening. Stuff is happening. We're gonna be okay, I think. Come on, you're almost there. Almost there. So close. Okay, it's time. It's time. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Make or break. Oh, beautiful flip. Where is it? Dun dun. I can't tell. Yeah, now it's getting overcooked. I thought I had to flip it. Uh, all right, I guess it's done? That's not a great way to start this. With that much uncertainty? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, four stars. Um, I don't think I cooked it right, but also I don't know how I could have cooked it different. Oh, and I put way too much salt on there and bad cutting technique. Okay, so there wasn't anything wrong with my pork chop, just my potatoes. Way too much salt and bad cutting technique. What do you mean? I gave you potato chunks. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, am I supposed to cut it into thirds? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, that's, uh, that's good to know, good to know. Potato chunks are thirds, not fourths. Oh, yay, stam and steak and boiled potatoes, huh? I'm good at that one. Hopefully the sink doesn't break this time. Um, let's hope, let's hope not, huh? Cause it really screwed me last time. All right, now the uh, stam and filet. I do not remember what seasonings go on this, so I will have to look. Surprise, surprise. Salt and black pepper, oh, that's it? Oh, that's easy, okay, I can do that. I'm gonna dump all this oil out because I don't need it anymore. Oh, and the burner is still on. That's fine, you know? We're just gonna have really hot oil. Oh, these are almost done. All right, let me let me put it down. Excuse me, that's a counter. I can put things on a counter. Okay, the potatoes are done. So we're grabbing those bad boys. They're ready to go. And now we'll just need to flip the salmon steak because that's the most important part of this thing. I'm gonna flip it now because um, I don't know what was going on with the pork chop and I don't want a repeat of that. So there you go, keep cooking. I really hope the food critic doesn't order a salmon filet again. I mean, yeah, I would like really be getting some redemption, but I'm sick and tired of cooking this dish. All right, it's done. 
There we go. Oh, it almost fell over. <laughs> I also am like so sick and tired of dropping food. I'm gonna try my best to like not drop any food. Cause I, I really, I really hate that. I hate serving floor food. What was wrong this time? I barely got four stars again. What is going on? Heating mistakes? What? And not enough salt. <sighs> I'm so sick and tired of this game. Oh, the food critic has arrived. I is this it? Is this his order? Pork chops with baked potatoes. All right, all right. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this one. Okay, um, what did the potato chunks look like in the picture? Is it just thirds? Am I just thirding this potato? I guess that's what I'm doing, just cutting these potatoes into thirds. Like that? Is that potato chunks? I think the fourths are like way more chunky, but you know, gotta, gotta follow the recipe, I guess. Even if I think it's wrong. Oh wait, how did that one get cut again? Did it- <laughs> Hey, oh no, that's not right. Uh, okay, um, I guess I cut the potato uh, twice. I tried to cut them separately, but that didn't work. So, uh, screw it, I guess. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Screw it. Put them on the floor. I'm getting a new potato. I should start the- I should start the thing. What? The, the pork. I'm- I'm stressed. Okay, let's start the pork chop. And then I can start the potatoes. They're <laughs> just on the floor. <laughs> and dump it on the floor. Perfect. The burner's still on. Don't care. I could probably turn off this one, though. Oh, I'm freaking out. This is my redemption, dude! I'm gonna be so upset if I mess this up! Nice and easy. Nice casual 30 milliliters. Nobody's worried. Oh! Oh! Who nailed it? Me! I absolutely nailed that one. Please, please do your best, little pork chop. Please. Okay, thirds. Um, one, two. These don't look like the picture, but there were six of them in the picture. <gasps> okay, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect game. Perfect. Serving floor food to a food critic. I hate serving floor food. Who nailed it? Me. I absolutely nailed that one. Not going great. Uh, this really is not going great. I guess I'll just pick up two chunks off the floor. Godspeed, honestly. We'll see how it goes. No, leave it in the oven. I'm not getting my redemption. There's no way. Let me put it in the oven. Hello? Put it in the oven. Oh, this game. Why did I want to play this again? I need to flip my pork chop too. Is it getting burnt? Are you burnt? I don't know about this one, folks. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting my redemption. <laughs> I think I'm just embarrassing myself more on the internet. Come on, potatoes. Are you done? Oh, they're almost done. All right. I gotta be careful holding this plate that close to that oven. This oven is notorious for breaking plates. Look at all the potato chunks on the floor. <laughs> it's a bloodbath. Are they done? Okay, they're done. They're done. <laughs> I'm sick of that happening. Five, six, sure, sure. <laughs> this is it, folks. This is the moment. I really hope this works. <laughs> or else I'm gonna be pissed. Have you recently come into possession of a restaurant that you now manage? And does said restaurant have a food critic swinging by today that you desperately need to impress so you don't embarrass yourself in front of hundreds of people? Well then allow me to introduce you to our groundbreaking new technology, the floor. The floor is making waves in the cooking world with its expert seasoning potential. The floor is as easy to use as just simply putting your prepared food on the floor before serving it and you're guaranteed one happy customer. Even food critics are raving about the taste of the floor. <laughs> the taste of the floor is mind blowing. Do yourself and your restaurant a favor and get yourself the floor today. The floor can be yours for five easy payments of $9.99. That's right, folks, just five easy payments of $9.99. Your restaurant is guaranteed to become a five-star restaurant, but only with the help of the floor. Get yours today. The floor LLC is responsible for any injury or death that may occur from using this product. Obviously, do not put your food on the floor. It is very unsanitary. <laughs> it worked! It worked! I got a fame star! I dropped everything on the floor and I still got a fame star. Okay, let's see the complaints. 
Too much salt, not enough, too much salt. Okay, once again, I am bad cutting technique. What do you mean? How are they like cut in that picture? It looks like they're wedges, but I don't know how you get a potato wedge. I am just so glad that I got my redemption. I served him an almost five star dish, all right? I beat the food critic. Exam passed, we did it. All right, new fame level. Oh, hell yeah. All right, oh, and we're done for the day. We're in the cleaning phase. Okay, good, because I have many things to clean up. I'm being smart about this. Instead of picking each one up individually, I'm using the cutting board. Yeah, being so smart about it, clearly. Got my redemption though, folks. I'm stoked on that. Take that, you stupid food critic. All right, day six. Starting out with the fame star, because I got my redemption. I guess we're likely to order a dish of the day, but don't be surprised if they choose something else from the menu. What's the dish of the day? Oh, people really like our tomato soup, so it's our dish of the day. Okay, I just had to be a little patient, and they would have told me what the dish of the day is. Okay, what? What's my first dish? Come on, game. Waiting on you. Of course it's a baked trout. Of course, of course it's not the tomato soup I just prepared. No. What is this? Why is why was this just on the floor? I don't remember the seasonings for this. So let's look once again. <laughs> and the trout goes in the oven. If I can actually put things in here, there we go. And bake. Now in the meantime, you know what we're gonna do. You know. Still don't like the fact that I'm serving a whole fish with a whole lemon, but what you gonna do? Okay. Okay, I knew better than that. I know better than to hold a plate and open the oven door, you know? Honestly, that one was on me. It's almost done, though, <laughs> on the bright side. I'm gonna stand way far back. There we go. And it's done. Oh, now it's overcooked. In those 10 seconds, it, it got overcooked. Oh, beautiful. Another beautiful baked fish. And I'm just gonna walk backwards because it's easier than trying to turn. What's the complaints? Heating mistake. Out. Shut up. What's next? Tomato soup? Is it gonna be tomato soup? Because I have that one ready. I would like for it to be tomato soup. <sighs> of course. Oh, beautiful. It's so great. Wow, what riveting content. Just watching me make the same dish over and over again. How many times have I made a baked trout, do you think? It's got to be at least 10. Do we think I'm going to get anything other than a baked trout today? Did I just make this tomato soup for nothing? Stand way back. There we go. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Sure. Grab another whole lemon. It's the bane of my existence. And it dropped on the floor. What? Why didn't I get five stars? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Seems like to me that guest was just a jerk. Huh? Okay, what's next? Tomato soup, please? <sighs> Salmon steak and boiled potatoes. I don't know why they told me the dish of the day was tomato soup if they're not going to give me tomato soup. All right, this is just five grams of salt and five grams of black pepper. And if that's wrong, I don't care. <laughs> that's how much I'm putting on there. And I'm going to turn off the oven. The oven broke. How did the oven break? I got an achievement for that. Destroy a piece of kitchen equipment. <laughs> well, if it was going to be anything, it was going to be this oven, I guess. Okay, there we go. New order. I'm not done with this order. This is a one order at a time restaurant. All right. What was wrong this time? Was it, was it my salt? I feel like it's always my salt. Yeah, not enough, not enough. Whatever. There's salt on the table. Salt it yourself. <laughs> what do you mean taste? How do you taste it? That's a thing I can do? I didn't know that. Has that always been there? Okay, that's 120 milliliters. Just a little more, just a little more. Is that enough? Just a pinch more, just the tiniest bit more. That's good, that's good. You know, that's enough. That's enough soup. That's enough soup for anybody. There's an oven on this? I didn't know that. Man, there's a lot of stuff I just didn't look at, huh? <laughs> All right, there's your tomato soup. Oh, hell yeah, five stars. That's what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, what now? More tomato soup, please, because I already have a whole thing made. Oh, all right, more tomato soup, because I already have a whole thing made. You're gonna get this soup so fast, customer. You're gonna be like shocked. It's gonna knock your socks off how fast you're eating soup. Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. Why, why does it do that? <laughs> can I pour some back into the pot? Is that a thing I can do? Okay, well, that was too much, obviously. <sighs> Why do I have such a hard time pouring things in this game? That that seems like the right amount, yeah? Sure. There you go, your soup. It's quick, might not be the right amount, but you got it fast. All right, what? Wrong amount of product. You got it fast. You got it in 47 seconds. You have nothing to complain about. Shut up. 
pork chops with baked potato. Oh yay, the bane of my existence. And screw it, you know, we're doing chunks my way. This is my restaurant and I can do potato chunks however I want. And I wanna do them in quarters. In this restaurant, we quarter things. What's my restaurant name? I'm just now thinking of this. I've played this game three separate times and I'm just now realizing I don't know the name of my own restaurant. Five star quarters. Quarters on the beach. Are we on the beach? No, we're in the city. Uh, quarters on the block. Qu quarters on the corner. That one, that's the winner. That's my restaurant name, Quarters on the Corner. Called it, <coughs> trademark it. Somebody trademark that for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, love that. Every single time it happens, it's so great. Look at that, that's so sad. Just my pork chop on the floor <laughs> in between all that broken porcelain. Oh no, my potatoes got overcooked. Oh no. Whatever, who's ever been mad at crispy potatoes? Not me, that's for sure. All right, serve it. Give me five stars. Oh, just about. I already know what the complaints are. Bad cutting technique, heating mistakes. Okay, first of all, I do not have bad cutting technique. Second of all, um, you got roasted potatoes, so shut up. Oh, that was the last order for today. When you're done, prepare for tomorrow. Yay, so I can pour all this soup on the floor, huh? Nice clean restaurant. Everything's good. I'm a famous restaurant. Quarters on the corner is a high class place that's clean. All right, so come on down, folks. All right, day seven. I've been doing this for a whole week. <laughs> Our baked trout is quite popular, so I've made it today's special. No, <laughs> I, I don't want to make more baked trout. So you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to save the game for the first time ever. <laughs> And I'm gonna call it because I got my redemption. Anyway, I'm gonna call it because I think we had a pretty successful two days in my restaurant. Quarters on the corner, <laughs> trademarked. I did break an oven and I dropped a lot of stuff, uh, but I beat the food critic. You know, I really shoved it in his face with how delicious my food was and we got a fame star. Can't really be mad at that. So, got my redemption. Mission accomplished, folks.